is it like working for Jeff? Amazon Flex, Mr. Jeff Bezos. This is in Australia, by the way. Um, what's it like delivering parcels for Amazon Flex? Let's find out. Mm. I don't work for Amazon. I'm don't a subcontractor work. to Amazon. I deliver Amazon products. I get nothing from them. They treat you with disrespect. They don't treat you as a person. It's just, it's just no way to live. It really isn't. Is it safe to leave your parcel outside? Yeah, no problem. I'll just leave it next to the plants. Cheers, mate. Have a great day. Alex Ailiff is one of 2,000 drivers around Australia who've signed up to Amazon Flex, an app that turns everyday Australians into couriers. And he gets the deliveries done in his 2002 Ford Laser. Launching two years ago, Flex is part of Amazon's ever-expanding retail and tech empire that helped fund founder Jeff Bezos's trip into space last month. I want to thank every Amazon employee and every Amazon customer because you guys paid for all of this. Amazon Spruiks the app is a flexible way for people to earn extra money on top of their ordinary jobs. But Alex is speaking out about a business model he thinks is unfair for drivers. Alex's day starts here at Amazon's depot on the outskirts of Melbourne. Today, he has 36 packages to deliver within four hours. It looks like 13 or 14 stops in Greenvale. Then we're heading up the road to Summary to finish with our deliveries. Amazon pays $108 for a four-hour shift on weekdays and a higher rate on weekends. On average, drivers doing five shifts a week take home $600. You drive for them? The expenses have to come out of that, so I've got petrol, insurance, any maintenance on the car, tolls, parking. Nah, doesn't like that barcode at all. Nah, it didn't work. Drivers can also be penalised for undelivered packages or missed deadlines. Alex could be kicked off the platform for breaking Amazon's rules. At the end of his shift, he has a choice. Take the undelivered parcels back to the depot or keep working without pay. I will return my parcels because I, I am not working for free. Why would you work for free? You can have one warning and get fired. You could have 10 warnings and get fired. No one really knows. You're kind of worried, will the next warning be the last one? They've created an atmosphere of fear. They have to do what Amazon say, and it's like it will lump it. Amazon says drivers can apply for a top-up payment if their shift goes for more than four hours, but they won't tell us how many top-up payments they've actually made. All communication between Amazon and its drivers takes place through the Amazon app. But before drivers can sign up, they must agree to a contract that gives Amazon power to terminate them at any time. Wow. We're looking for pretty simple things from the drivers. We're asking them to turn up. Um, for blocks that they've committed to doing. Obviously, if drivers can't do those things, then perhaps Flex is not the program for them. Hardcore. This is clearly a regression. It's a return to unregulated work akin to what was happening in the 19th century. That is, work that was precarious and prior to the rolling out of minimum standards under employment laws. Amazon says the difference is flex drivers are not employees. Look, flex is not designed to be a, a primary source of income. It's only meant to be a, a flexible working opportunity. We know that 80% of people actually have another source of income. We know that 30% of people have a full-time job. We comply with relevant owner drug laws um, in the states in which we operate, and they're regulations which are built in uh, relevant protections for those, for those particular drivers. Ryan McBain discovered he'd been terminated from Flex via email. When you're being told that you've been terminated by a computer, that's not a good feeling as an employee. Shit. He couldn't log into his account after a break from doing Flex between Sydney's lockdowns. Amazon says he broke its rules, but hasn't given any more details. Like Uber, like I was that. devastated, like I was in shock. I don't know why I've been deactivated from Amazon Flex. I have contacted them, um, and I'm still Let waiting. Let him know, for Amazon. Response. Why did you deactivate him? Jeff, We've also asked Amazon why Ryan was terminated, but it won't tell us.
I'm not in a position to talk about specific delivery. Oh, no, I can't talk about um, it. In this interview. No, I work for Jeff. Jeff told me to shut up. This is a David and Goliath battle, essentially. Multinational tech no, companies talk about it. breaking into the Australian Jeff market, making up. conditions worse for workers, at the same time as gaining traction with consumers to ensure that that business model is embedded in Australia. That battle might be easily won because Amazon asked its drivers to waive their right to participate in future class actions against the wow. company. We want people to be fairly compensated for the services that they're providing to us, on, and we aim to do that. Each Sound and like every Tony time. West. I would like to earn enough to actually live off, but I want to do this, but I think I'm going to have to go uh, go back and find another job somewhere else. 100%. Those are not conditions. And the ABC is investigating. So, you know, what, what these rich bastards do to people that make them the money. It's just, it's, that's why I have this channel. It gets me going. It pisses me off. And you got to speak up, man. you got to be a voice for these individuals. So uh, to those 2,000 Australian Amazon Flex workers, I hear you. I feel you. I'm sorry that you have to work under these conditions and maybe it's time to progress to a different level. Um, I would want to offer you a, uh, a code on my course. Become a limousine driver in one of those cities if you're working in Sydney or any of those big major cities in Australia. But this, my friends, you shouldn't be enduring this and working under these conditions. It's unacceptable, Jeff Bezos. It's completely unacceptable. And then you sort of like thank these individuals for paying your billions of dollars and sending you into space you know, making that dream of yours come true. Maybe you should make their dream come true, right? Pay them better, treat them better. And to that asshole attorney there, that prick that refuses to answer any questions, you trash, man. You're part of the executive trash. That's all I can say. Have a great day, everyone. And uh, much love from this South African to Australia. Enjoy your rugby.